this is the best place in the country to study the South. The sources are here. We have fabulous archives. I couldn't be in a better place to do the kind of work I want to do. The Southern Oral History Program is a point of pride to me in many ways. We interview people who have made significant contributions to society, but we also interview people who are extraordinary in their own ways, but are ordinary, extraordinary people. Those interviews then become available to scholars, students, the public, and they're used by all kinds of people, people who are doing their own family histories to people who are writing major books. All of our audio and material and, and transcripts are available in the Southern Historical Collection in Wilson Library. I had three sisters and two brothers. and They all worked, so I went to work too. All of our transcripts are available online and many of our interviews, and we just got a grant from the Mellon Foundation that's going to enable us to go back and digitize all of our old analog interviews so that by the time that's over, essentially all of our sound recordings as well as our transcripts will be available online. One project we're working on now is a project in collaboration with the new National Museum of African American History and Culture and the Smithsonian Institution. And the goal of it is to interview civil rights leaders all over the country who have not been adequately documented before it's too late. Those materials will be available at the Library of Congress, but also cross-listed and available through our collection as well. If I had to single out one thing that has meant the most to me, I would have to point to the students who have helped to create the program and have done the interviews and then have used what they learned in the course of doing that and have gone on to do great things with their own lives.